Jenny, thank you so much for joining me here today. Um, I have set up this channel because I love watching other people on YouTube making lots of things. Some of my favourites are Jenna Phipps um, and Well Loved Knits um, and I love watching their videos and watching what they make. Um, I love the like chunky knits that um, Well Loved Knits makes and I love that Jenna makes all kinds of different things at Christmas. Um, I was watching all the stuff she was like gift making for people. Um, and I love making all sorts of different things. So I started off baking quite a few years ago now, um, just for myself. I did like a little cupcake course with a friend once, really enjoyed it, um, and then have made lots of different cakes over the years. Um, maybe I'll share a few pictures of that at some point. Um, I tend to make cakes for my friends for their birthdays and family members, although my husband doesn't particularly like it when I make a cake because I get a little bit stressed <laughs> about um, how well it's gonna turn out. So uh, there is that. Um, and then a few years ago I started knitting, um, my mother-in-law taught me to knit, uh, she had quite recently learned herself um, and she taught me how to knit and the first thing I made was a blanket um, which was a gift project, um, made it with like quite a few strands of um, like a natural sort of coloured wool um, but um, I'll go into a bit more detail about that later. Um, but yeah, so I have been knitting on and off for the last few years, um, I tend to kind of like make a project, I get really excited at that outset. Uh, I will like be really, really going for it with the knitting and then um, I think oh I haven't got to have this ready for another six months and then I kind of leave it for those three or four months in between and then right at the end I think oh I best finish that. Um, so I am a bit rubbish at that and I want to get better at that. Um, I have also started sewing, I started that like most people or a lot of people at least I bought a sewing machine during lockdown. Um, but also during the first lockdown I'd had a baby. I had him about two weeks before lockdown started um, so I was kind of busy with that um, so I haven't really had loads of time to do the sewing and I do find it more difficult to do that because I don't have a space I can kind of leave my sewing machine out and um, it has to be put away once I've finished with it um, and so I'm not very good at kind of getting that out. Um, and getting on with um, my sewing projects. Um, I have made some things in the past, like uh, I made some muslin sort of baby bibs, um, I've made sort of scrunchies, tote bags, just small little things at the moment. Um, I would like to get into making garments if I can, um, but as I say, I do find that more difficult. I also find that with knitting um, and crocheting and that kind of thing, I can do that in the evening, watching TV, TV, TV with my husband, um, and it's something that's just, can be done sort of anywhere, I can even do it in the car if I want to or you know that kind of stuff. Um, so I do find that easier. Um, and then I have wanted to crochet for many years but every time I have picked it up I have really really struggled with it. I can get like the foundation chain done and then once I start working a couple of rows um, I found like at one point I was getting quite far with a blanket and then realised that actually it was getting wider as it went up so that was not ideal. Um, and every now and again I just get this itch to try crochet again um, and then just before Christmas I decided that I was definitely going to crochet something, I wasn't going to give up this time um, and so I'll show you a bit later on um, the blanket that I've made. Um, but yeah, so those are the sort of things that I really like doing, knitting, crocheting, sewing, baking, so those are the things I'll probably be sharing a bit here on this channel. Um, if that's something you're interested in, please do stick around. Um, and I'm going to talk to you a bit about um, what I have coming up that I plan to make. Actually, perhaps we're better off starting with where my knitting journey began, I guess. So uh, my mother-in-law actually taught me to knit a few years ago now. Um, and the first thing she had started making were blankets for her friends and family. So that's the first thing I started making. Um, the first one I made, I went to Hobbycraft and bought all the wool. Um, I made that as a gift for someone. It was all in neutral colours. If I can find a picture, I will pop it up somewhere if I can work out how to do that. Um, but uh, yeah, it was a blanket, really big blanket, like big throw, um, lots of neutral colours in it. I used quite a few different strands. I think five or six different strands of different types of wool, um, all kind of in like beigey neutral colours. Um, and then I knit that on, uh, my father-in-law is actually a very clever man, and um, he made for my mother-in-law and I needles, which um, I was going to show to you. Um, this is before we knew that there were circulated needles. So before that, we were using these. <laughs> massive. They're absolutely massive. These are 15 millimetre needles, if you can see that on the end there. Oh no, are they 15? Yeah, 15. Um, 
and yeah my father-in-law made those for us so that we could do like the big junky blankets so I would be sat there like this with them knitting on the sofa in my bed <laughs> all that sort of stuff um but yeah as you can imagine they took up quite a bit of space so I have now invested and I have a 15 millimeter a 20 millimeter all big chunky needles um in circular needles now so I don't tend to use these but I just got them out to show you <laughs> um but yeah I, uh, the first thing I made was a blanket um, and then since then I have done lots of gift knitting mostly I tend to make blankets for my friends and families when they have a baby um, so I've done quite a lot of those in the past I tend to stick to the quite neutral colours again the greys, the creams, the beiges, that kind of stuff um, I can try and pop a couple of pictures in again like I say if I can work out how to do that um, and then more recently uh, the things that I have been making um, like I said, I kind of lost my knitting mojo a bit during lockdown and stuff. Um, I had a baby, like I say, he was born on the 12th of March and then we went into lockdown not too long after. Um, and then he was small and I didn't have the time or the energy to do any making of anything. I would sometimes make shortbread, but that would be about it. Um, or some bread, but um, yeah, didn't really make much beyond that. Um, but over Christmas, I decided I wanted to get back into doing my knitting again. Um, so at Christmas, I actually made Christmas crowns. Um, I made these last year as well. I couldn't seem to find the ones I'd made last year. Funnily enough, I have found them now. They were in a bag under the bed somewhere. Um, but I made some of these last year and made them again this year. So um, it's a pink one that I've made. Um, but they were by Lauren Aston Designs. Pop it on so you can see. Um, and last year, um, during COVID, she released the pattern for free. So um, that's what got me making them last year. Uh, I say last year, I actually mean the year before is when I first made them. And then this Christmas just gone, I made more of them. Um, I have made them in loads of different colours. It's just that the other ones have been put away now. But that's a really easy pattern. Um, you just need to know how to knit and how to um, incre increase and decrease. Um, but I found tutorials of how to do that. Um, really easily and she tells you um, the method she wants you to use to do the uh, decreases and increases so um, I made those at Christmas and they went all down uh, they went down very well with my friends and family so that was really nice and um, sorry also if I keep looking like in the viewfinder and then at the screen I am doing this on my phone so it's really difficult not to watch yourself um, the next thing that I made I have been wanting to learn to crochet for years and um i have been taught by a friend before but then never quite got the hang of it um i have made in the past i started making a baby blanket um and then i realized that it was getting wider and wider and wider as i was going up and so i realized that that wasn't quite working out and then i have tried a few times and given up each time i just don't get the hang of it um it really hasn't been for me and then a couple of months ago, I decided to persevere and I wanted to make a blanket for my son, who I say is like 18 months, he'll actually be two in March. But anyway, um, I decided I wanted to make a blanket for him. Um, and so I decided to crochet it. Um, I believe, I don't know the terms because I'm not very good at that, but um, I think it's single crochet um, the whole way along. Um, but it's like really lovely colours, so it's got like this nice creamy colour, it's like camely sort of colour, um, then like a minty eucalyptusy green kind of colour, quite a bright blue, this was my least favourite colour out of all the ones I picked. I did order the um, wool online, um, these are paint box um, ones, I didn't want to spend lots of money on the um, material when I didn't know if I would be able to actually get the project finished. I mean, I could have knit this if it hadn't worked out in crochet, but um, I really just wanted to give it a go crocheting it. Um, and then this is like the last colour, which is, I don't really know how to explain this colour. It's kind of like a foresty green kind of colour, maybe. Um, but yeah, so it literally just goes all the way down the blanket and goes all different colours. Um, I was really pleased with it in the end. There are a couple of spots where... Um, it does look a bit wider and then a bit slimmer but I know that I have checked and it's not the amount of stitches it's just that my tension changed a bit throughout I think there were evenings where I was like really getting through it quickly really going for it with um, my crochet hook um, and got a lot done but was doing it quite loosely and then there's bits at the beginning where I was like a bit dubious a bit worried about kind of 
dropping stitches or not being quite in the right place and that kind of stuff so um a bit tighter at the beginning and a bit looser in places but um the fact is i finished it so i was really proud of myself for that um and my son has used it loads already so um that one's gone really well um and then quite recently i was looking for something on youtube um I think it was like either 10 uh, beginner friendly knitting projects or 10 beginner friendly um, toys for knitting. Um, I can't remember which one, but if I can remember what the video was, I'll link it in the description. Um, but I have made this little bunny. Um, yeah, it was a free pattern online. It was really, really easy. It is knit in stocking net um, the whole way along, apart from the ears are just in garter stitch. Um, but it was really really simple to do, I really enjoyed doing this one um, the only thing I would say is that you have to mattress stitch all the way along the side seams um, and to put the legs and everything in and I was not particularly good at that, that's not my most confident area um, I also found, if I show a bit uh, closer up, I wasn't very good at doing the embroidery on his face um, so I think that could do with some improvement I might take that out and redo that I think um, I use like a normal cotton and I'd have been better off using like an embroidery cotton um so yeah I think I will probably give his face another go but I just think he's really cute like I say it was really simple to do it took me probably a few evenings um a bit longer to kind of stuff it and put it together but again my son really likes it um, I'm actually pregnant again and have a little girl on the way this time so I have started making the same one again in pink um, like this kind of dusky pink I don't know how well you can see it I have got my blinds closed today because the sun is shining and it is very beautiful uh, but also means that I can't see properly when the sun is directly at me um, but yeah so I'm just going to make the same one again but in this kind of cream the same cream and then this kind of like dusky pink kind of colour. Um, so I think that'd be really nice. Um, but yeah, like I say, it was a free pattern. It was really simple. Um, I'll try and link it in the description below again, if I can work out how to do all of this sort of stuff. Um, but nice, really easy one. Um, knit on four millimetre needles. Um, so yeah, nice, easy one. And also some of the needles I have um, were my great grandma's. Um, and my nan passed them down to me, so that's really nice. I've got those. Oh, and uh, one thing I did realise that I made a mistake on doing the uh, bunny was that um, I actually got some new tape measures for Christmas, which was really great in my stocking, but I didn't realise, stupidly, uh, that I have quite a bit of material here before the numbers actually start. Um, and so it was like three inches for the blue bit, three inches for the green bit and I did it right from the top to where the three inches is. So he was a bit longer than he was nearly three months that in my own place, uh, but he was a bit longer here and here, like the whole way down really, than um, he was meant to be. So the next one I did is actually three inches, so I might come out a little bit smaller, but that's okay, because he's gonna have a little sister and she can have one that's slightly smaller. Um, the next thing that I have currently started, um, or got on my needles at the moment, I tend to keep them in, I buy most of my wool from Wool Warehouse. Um, I like Drops a lot, it's my favourite. Um, so I tend to buy a lot of stuff from them, from Wool Warehouse. Um, and then I will just keep whichever project I'm making in the bag that the wool came in. I find that the easiest way to kind of store everything. Um, but the next thing I have on my needles at the moment is this blanket um, in this sort of again I'm not sure the colour is showing up um, properly um, because of the lighting in here but it's this um, really pretty dusky pink kind of colour this is knit just in moss stitch it was a pattern from um, Will and the Gang a free pattern uh, for a baby blanket but um, I have literally just even the I know it sounds really silly but the cast on method on that um, pattern I just wasn't understanding at all uh, and I was having real difficulty with it. So I literally just did a long tail cast on and then have just done knit one pearl one, knit one pearl one the whole way along on every row. So there's that one. I do tend to stick to chunkier projects usually, but um, as I say, I've been recently watching Well Love Knits and she has been making um, some stuff on smaller needles. 
so I thought I would also try and do some stuff on smaller needles. Um, I have used 5mm needles before to do, I did a baby cardigan a couple of years ago. I don't have it with me because I knitted it for my nephew and then my sister-in-law very kindly gifted it back to me when I had my baby. Um, but it's up in the loft at the moment in storage before the next baby comes. So um, again, I'll try and find a picture if I can. Um, that one was a hobby craft um, pattern and it was must stitch uh, the whole way along. Really simple baby cardigan um, came out really nicely. Um, again, the only thing I was slightly disappointed in was that I wasn't very good at putting it together. So that's definitely something I want to try and improve on um, in the coming months, weeks, however long. Um, but yeah, this is just going to be a really simple must stitch blanket the whole way along. I might at the end add a couple of pom poms maybe or something just to jazz it up a little bit. Um, but that one is cotton and is knit in Drops Paris, um, which is like I said, five millimeter um, cotton. I've used this one a couple of times before for some other projects and really liked it, so stuck with that one. Um, the teddy was knit. Oh, in Rico yarn I think it was um, but again I'll mention that in the description box and then um, those are all the that's what I'm working on currently but I have a couple of plans to make some new things um, I have never really knitted anything for myself um, I always do like gift knitting gift crocheting gift baking quite often um, but I don't really tend to make anything for myself in fact, I don't think I've ever made anything for myself, um, knitting wise. Um, oh, I did also at Christmas make some crochet socks. Um, they were from a free pattern as well. Um, and I managed to get those done after doing the blanket. I had a bit of confidence. Um, so I started doing some socks. I made two pairs for people for Christmas. Uh, I just want to put it out there straight away though, that this channel probably will not include knitted socks because <laughs> they look complicated. I would say that been knitting for a few years now but not knitting regularly um so I would say I was like a confident beginner sort of level um so I won't be doing any socks anytime soon they look really complicated I did buy double pointed needles a few years ago for a project I can't find them anywhere um and the thought of having to use those for a pair of socks just terrifies me quite frankly um, so when I see other people have made socks, I always think like go them, but I don't know if I want to spend all my time making something that's going to be on someone's feet under a pair of shoes. I don't know. Maybe uh, I'll be converted and in a couple of months time you'll see on this channel that there'll be socks. Who knows? But for the time being, no socks. Um, but I did want to make for myself um, a beanie. I know it's started one. Well, here I live in the UK um, and it's quite cold here at the moment so I do want to get this cast on as soon as I can and get it done um, but the pattern I have gone for is from my favourite knitwear um, it's beanie number one um, I have downloaded the pattern and I've bought the wool that I'm going to use so I've gone for drops flora uh, two of those because you have to have two of these and then two of the mohair um, and I went for the Drops, Drops Kid Silk as mine, so I wanted like a nice neutral sort of coloured beanie, um, hopefully one I'll wear for years and years once it's cast on, once I get it finished, once all of that stuff happens. Um, but yeah, so I have got those and then um, I bought the um, Knit Pro um, interchangeable circular knitting needles to make that with. Um, like I say, I, I have actually done a couple of beanies before in the past um, using mostly free patterns and then I had a pattern, um, I bought Lauren Aston Designs knitting book and that had a beanie in it so I've knit that one as well actually, suddenly remembering all these projects that I have done in the past. Um, if I can remember or work out how to do it I will try and add some pictures for some of the stuff that I've made in the past. Um, but yeah this one would be a new pattern for me that I've not used before. Um, so I'm going to give that a go and I will see how I get on and I will update on the channel. Um, the next thing I hope to make is going to be like a summer knitting project. Um, again I have gone for Drops Flora. Um, I do tend to knit in like very neutral colours but um, 
with it coming up to summer I thought it might be nice to go for something a bit different I say neutral colors and then I've shown you these at some point during my video they were for Christmas that's different um but yeah so I have gone for drops flora in this minty sort of not minty it said it was um pistachio I believe on the website color 16 um so I have gone for this and I want to make with this the My Favourite Things Knitwear Camisole number no. 2. Um, I thought it looked a bit easier than Camisole number no. 4. I know that seems to be a really popular one at the moment. Um, but I also preferred the design of number no. 2. So I'm going to give that a go. Again, that's on smaller needles than I'm used to. I think it's a 2.5 and a, half and a 3. Um, but I kind of want to try doing things on smaller needles. I um, have always kind of gone for bigger needles, bigger wool um chunky stuff because it knits up quickly and i do really love the satisfaction of having a project finished um so i have done that a lot in the past but i want to try and just like enjoy the process of knitting a bit more again i have been watching a lot of well love knits videos lately and she has also talked about like slowing down um doing things on smaller needles um not to, like not getting to the end of a project just to see it finished sort of thing but actually enjoying the process of it and I think I have been very guilty of that in the past especially when you're gift knitting because there's a date in mind it has to be done for and I'm that annoying person that like I get started with something straight away I'm really excited when it first hits the needles I get like quite a bit done to begin with and then I'll think oh their birthday is six months away or that baby's not due for three more months or Christmas is still nearly a year away or whatever it is and then it, all of a sudden the date comes around so like last Christmas I was suddenly like oh I really wanted to make a few things for people this year but I just haven't got around to it and then suddenly it was a month before Christmas and I wanted to knit 12 of those crowns uh, which they didn't take me very long to make they took me about half an hour 40 minutes to make but yeah each one that all adds up um so I was knitting those, I was knitting the socks, I really did want to get some hats done but I just didn't get around to that. Um, so yeah, this year I am hoping to be a bit more consistent with my knitting and I was kind of hoping really that setting up this channel, I don't know why I'm showing you these again, um, but I was kind of hoping that setting up this channel might just um, spur me on to actually finish the things that I've started, um, we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's that's the aim. Um, so I have plans to make a couple more things. Um, I also got for Christmas um, a pattern for a cardigan. Um, I've never, the only garment that I've ever knit was the one that I made for my nephew, um, so a baby cardigan. I've never knit a garment for an adult, um, but for Christmas I was given the Lauren Aslan Designs, knit, I think it's called the Button It Up cardigan. It's like a really big chunky cardigan. Um, I wanted to make something that I can wear now, like the camisole that I'm going to make in for the spring summer sort of time. I am pregnant now and due at the end of May, so I don't know how much wear I would get out of it this year, but I really wanted to make it um, and it would be something that I'd have in my wardrobe for a long time to come, hopefully. Um, but the cardigan, like with being pregnant, I could, like, as soon as it's finished, I can wear it. I could just put a t-shirt underneath it and wear it with whatever, like, you know, maternity jeans or, um, you know, those cold cold evenings in the summer where um in the UK for uh, anyway it's nice during the day and then the evenings turn a bit chillier and I am I say a cold person I don't mean personality wise I mean I get cold very easily so I thought that would be a great one uh, that I would still wear during the summer months in the evenings and stuff but um I got the pattern for it it's my birthday next week and um, I think I'm getting the wool for it as a birthday present um, so I will wait and see but yeah hopefully I'll be knitting that up soon too um, those are all the things that um, I was going to chat to you today about um, if you have any questions or anything please do leave me a comment um, yeah and hopefully the next video I'll have an update on some of the things I've made um, I might also talk about some of the other projects that I want to make this year um, so yeah upcoming videos Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a lovely day. Take care. Bye.